We have um, M1 from January 2017, continuing on now with question number 8, part E. Um, it says, at time 3 seconds after release, the string becomes taut again. Sketch a velocity time graph for the motion of P at the interval. Okay, so what's happened is, the first is when it was being pulled up by the string. Okay, this is particle P is being pulled up by the string. So it's upwards. Okay, uh, 1.4 meters per second squared. And the tension in the string, I mean, sorry, the, the weight was um, 3G. That was the first situation. This was 33.6 meters. Okay, so when it started off, the original speed was zero. And the speed that it reached before Q hit the ground, while the tension was still in the string, was four was five point four two meters per second. Okay, with a uniform acceleration of um, one point four meters per second squared. Then what's happened? It's still moving up, still moving up, but this time there's no tension in the string, and it's just being pulled out. Okay, so um, acceleration due to the rate is like minus g, it's minus g, not 1.4 minus g. So u is equal to, in this case, u is equal to the initial speed that it had was the, the, the speed that it had reached just before the string became taut, and the, the final speed is zero because it comes to rest. Okay, and then time three third situation now okay is where um, so this is up to this is up to time one and this is up to time two now in time three what's happening is it's it's now reached its initial speed is zero now it's, it's at the top of its flight and it's going to start coming down again okay and it says t3 is bigger than t1 okay so at time t, okay, it becomes taut again. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to reach that same speed, 5.42 meters per second, but it's going to be going downwards now. So it's going to, it's going to go up, okay, then it's going to, string's going to become tight when it's gone up 10.5 meters. Then it's going to slow, it's going to start decelerating until it comes to rest, and then it's going to start moving down until it reaches that same point again where it becomes taut. Okay, the string becomes taut. Okay? Um, and you've got to draw the, the velocity time graph, not the speed time graph, the velocity time graph up to that point. So remember, velocity time graph, direction is important. Speed time graph, not so important. So we're going to have some negative velocity here. It's going to be a different direction. So let's take it up as positive as that's the initial movement of P. Okay, so it starts from rest and it reaches T1, which was 3.87 seconds. It reaches a speed of 5.42 meters per second. That's meters per second and that's seconds. So you could say that's the initial let me just change that for without an arrow. So that's like the initial kind of velocity. And then what happens after this? It basically falls now with a, an acceleration which is um, bigger than the acceleration from before. It's 9.8. It's negative. It's going down. So it's going to basically go down to zero. And then continue exactly the same. Okay, the acceleration is constant all the way through. This will be a constant straight line all the way down until you get to the speed of negative 5.42. So at this point here, the speed will be negative 5.42. Okay, so that's time one. Then this is time two, which was. I should put it there actually. 
That's time one. This is time two. Time two is 4.43 seconds. What does it say we have to indicate clearly? Okay, this is time three over here. Okay, so there we have our speed or velocity time graph for this particular. Okay, this is velocity times time. Okay, this is seconds. And that's meters per second. That's velocity, sorry, against time. Okay, so there we have our sketch. It looks something like that. Okay, that's the end of question. Thank you for watching.